Hello and welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. Most of you have been in a situation where you need to create a mirrored or handed version of your assembly and its parts. Now this functionality has been around for quite a long time, but many users seem to have missed some of the advancements. Let's take a look at this simple wizard-based assembly feature. In this hood hinge assembly, I only need these five components actually mirrored. The rest can simply be flipped and copied unless, of course, I want opposite threaded fasteners. Now, I do, however, want to mirror the entire assembly as I need it in its entirety on the other side of the hood. The first step is to select your mirror plane and what components you want mirrored or copied. For ease of use, Control-A gets me everything I need. Next, you'll want to define which components you want to mirror and which simply need to be copied and flipped over. Make sure to use the isolate option so you can clearly see what's happening to your parts and their mirrored orientation. Also, with each mirrored part, you'll want to define how it should be mirrored, its bounding box or center of gravity. Bounding box is good to use for asymmetric components. Next, decide if you want derived configurations or completely new part files created and how you want them named. I'll select Create New Files and have them prefixed with LH dash in the file name. Lastly, decide on what items of each part you want to transfer to the new mirrored parts. I'll just go ahead and take everything for now. If you select Break Link to Original, then you'll get part features copied over to the new parts, which allows you to manage and modify them separately. Otherwise, the mirrored parts are linked back to their originals and changes propagate. Here you can see all of those features made available for use in the new part. Now I have my left-handed assembly with mirrored parts that have maintained their mates and saved me a lot of time. Now one of the gotchas to look out for is to make sure you have your default templates defined. Otherwise, you'll be prompted for each new document created. I hope you've enjoyed this 3-Minute Thursday. We'll see you next time.